just going to put a little bit of the product okay right in my palette one pump is usually enough all right so the, um, what I do is I do half a pump because I mix two colors all right so I'm going to show you how to swatch this first so I'm going to add the medium on the other side so that way you can see the difference all right here we go all right so now in my mixing palette I have the medium and the dark okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch. And much like in my previous videos, to swatch, make sure you swatch on this part of the skin because that's the skin you want to match because you want the neck coloring. Okay, you want to match the foundation to the neck color. So as you can see, if I do the dark, okay, I'm just going to use a little Q-tip. I just put it right there. See there? It's too dark. Okay, now if I do the medium, all right, See, you can see the medium, it's too light. So, and there's no in-between color. So I'm going to make the in-between color by mixing the two. All right, so that's one of the disadvantages is if you're in-between colors, you're going to have to mix. All right, so now that I have the product right in the mixing palette, I'm going to use my stipple and swirl brush. This is the best brush to use with this product. And of course, all the good stuff we talked about is already in here, the primer, the moisturizer, the antioxidants. Um, uh, oil control, um, pore filler, and all that. And I'm just going to make sure that that's well mixed, all right, by pouncing it on. And I'm going to stipple this on first, okay? I'm going to stipple it right in the area where I need it, okay? So once I deposit the product, I'm going to swirl. And look at that forehead. Gone. Look at my expression line right here. Nice and softer, okay? You just stipple and swirl it, and it feels really cool on the skin. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel thick, and it doesn't look cakey. Look at that. Okay, so it doesn't look caked on. All right, and that pretty much like covered most of my face, and I still have a lot of my palette right here. So sometimes you'll just have to control. If you're doing this on someone else, then you're definitely going to need to kind of like just, you know, kind of like eyeball it and see if that's going to be enough. It's going to be too less and whatnot. So I'm just going to go over areas that I think I need a little bit more coverage. Okay. But for guys, guys don't want thick on makeup. Okay. They just want like as natural looking as possible which this is very very ideal okay just like so all right so I have a lot of leftover so it doesn't require a lot of products to do this but I don't want to waste it so I'm just going to add it to areas here and there like my jawline a little bit over there above the lips and then done.